switch tech in the previous video i showed you how to repair your magsafe one cable in this video i'm going to show you a second way of doing it but the results will be the same or even better this will be a step-by-step -step approach which you can follow and obtain good results remember you don't need to waste money to buy a new charger or buy an expensive replacement cable you can do your own repairs at home and obtain a workable nice looking magsafe one charger now welcome and follow this step and let's see if your cable changes from this to a better one Here is your L-shape connector. Once again, uh, it's been damaged and uh, we've cut off the damaged part. The first step is to cut off the rubber sheathing, the top rubber sheathing. This is important. Don't cut the inner one, with the, which insulates the inner wires. Just cut the top one and push it out. Do this neatly. Second step is to cut off sizable amount of the waste wire which we do not want. The third step is to cut the inner insulation or rubber insulation which covers both wires. Uh, you may cut it halfway from the L shaped connector to the end and remove the insulation make it neat then separate the wires as we say the bare wires are the return or the naked or the negative wires the inner insulated wire is the positive or the v out wire This is another example. We'll make two wires today too, but uh, in this video we are going to concentrate on one. But this is a welcome uh, replay. Cut off halfway from the end of the wire. Cut off the rubber sheeting, remove it. Separate the wires. Of course you'll need to test it to see if your L-shape connector is working. This one is working fine, turning from green to amber, showing that it is charging fine. You may repeat this just to be sure, but your work will not be of any use if your connector is not working. Next, you can uh, repair or make the ends of your L-shape connector neat with the yellow uh, insulation. And then you may cut, the next step is to cut a one millimeter uh, piece of the white insulation to reveal the positive wire. Ensure that your work is neat. Then obtain a different rubber insulation which you'll use to cover your work at the end you can get this from another l-shape connector next prepare your wire but before you do this make sure you write or you slide your rubber insulation over this new wire which you want to use so that it be ready to cover your joint at the end. We want to connect the two, the L-shape connector with the new wire. Now we have our L-shape connector prepared and ready. Next thing is to apply a bit of soldering wire to the ends, some solder. Don't put a big amount, we want the joint to be neat and as thin as possible. 
align the two ends together and solder them. As we said, make it a neat joint. Ensure there is no excess solder. And ensure that you placed your final insulation. As in this case, we have held our final insulation with a black wire. Our insulation is white. We've held it back so that we can use it to cover the joint at the end. You can remove the wire now. Once your joint is perfect, remove the black wire. And then you can slide your insulation over the joint to cover the V-out wire. Make sure you cover the whole joint so that as to prevent shots and make the joint, the joint and the insulation neat as in this case. Next, next is to slide the negative wires over the joint or to spread them over the joint, make it a neat uh, job. And then before you go far, ensure that your wire is still working, the connection is okay. You can connect it to your power. As you can see, this one is working fine. Our cable is working fine. So all we need is to cover now the bare wires and slide the rubber sheathing over the joint. As you can see, you push it over the joint until you reach the yellow uh, insulation. Remember we had our rubber insulation uh, slid before over the wire. Now is to push it. And you can will use a little bit of glue over the joint there and you'll slide the insulation in. And the, your cable should look this at the end. This is a clean uh, work. And of course you need to test at the end too. So this is the second method of repairing your MagSafe one cable. I hope uh, you enjoyed this. If you missed the last video, I'll leave the link in the description below uh, or uh, anywhere else on this uh, video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And uh, have a nice time.